Hey guys and welcome to our animated walkthrough of Leak Code 75 Sort Colors. This problem requires us to sort an array of size n containing three different elements. To tackle this challenge we're going to explore the Dutch national flag algorithm proposed by Edgar Dijkstra. You might already be familiar with the name Dijkstra as another algorithm, Dijkstra's algorithm, is widely used in finding the shortest path between nodes in a weighted graph. I'll probably make a video on that in the future, but for now let's focus on the Dutch national flag algorithm. This problem is particularly interesting for designing sorting algorithms, especially as it plays a crucial role in enhancing variance of the quicksort algorithm. Quicksort needs to be robust, especially when dealing with repeat elements. This is where three-way partitioning comes into play, grouping items less than a given key red, equal to the key white, and greater than the key blue. To kick this video off, let's take a look at the algorithm in action without delving into how it works. One thing you may notice is that the algorithm appears to sort from the outside in, and also from left to right. Let's reset the array and take another look. Now let's break down the Dutch national flag algorithm. First we initialize three pointers, low and mid are set to the start of the array, and high is set to the end of the array. Think of these pointers as markers that will help us sort the array. We then begin iterating through the array. The iteration continues as long as the mid pointer is less than or equal to the high pointer. During each iteration, we look at the value of the element at the mid pointer. If it's zero, we swap it with the element at the low pointer, and then increment both the low and mid. This effectively moves all the zeros to the beginning of the array. If the element at mid is one, we simply move the mid pointer forward. We're leaving all the ones in the middle. However, if the element is two, we swap it with the element at the high pointer, and then de-increment the high. This moves all the twos towards the end. We continue this process until mid surpasses high. At this point, all elements are sorted, all zeros at the start, all ones in the middle, and all twos at the end of the array. Let's now look at an example from leak code. We're given the input array 202110. We'll start off by initializing our low and mid pointers at the beginning and our high pointer at the end. We will also keep track of mid up at the top. We can see initially that mid is pointing to 2, which means we swap it with the element at high and de-increment high by 1. This leaves us with mid pointing to 0. In this case, we normally swap low and mid and then increment them both, but since they're both at the same index, we can skip the swap and simply increment. The same is true for the next iteration, so we can simply increment again, leaving us with mid pointing to 2. The same as before, we swap the element at mid with the element at high and de-increment high by 1. Now with the mid pointer pointing to 1, we increment it by 1. The same is true again, in which case we increment again, breaking the loop and leaving us with the sorted array. Okay, let's code this up in Python. Uh, one take. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to start with initializing our variables. Low, mid, and high. Uh, these are going to be equal to 0, 0, and the length nums minus one uh, let's clean that up <laughs> um, okay so we're gonna go while uh, mid not miss uh, mid is less than or equal to high uh, now we have if it's gonna be nums of mid so uh, we have three cases this is the first one really if it's equal to zero, we swap nums of uh, mid and nums of low. So nums mid is going to uh, nums mid and nums low. So this is just how we swap in Python. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, ch -ch -ch low and then nums mid. Okay. Uh, then we have to increment them both. So we do low. Uh, plus equals 1, and mid plus equals 1. Now, uh, not plus equals q. Uh, now our next uh, case is going to be, it's like an elif, uh, nums of mid is equal to 1. Sorry, you might be looking at my dog in the background. Uh, mid is uh, plus equal 1. Uh, so in this case, we're just incrementing, right? Like uh, here we're, you know, if mid is equal to zero, we want to swap uh, mid and low so that we push essentially all the zeros to the to the back or to the left side. And then we increment low, which means that, you know, anything to the left of low is going to be a zero. Um, here, we're just keeping the ones in the middle. So we're just incrementing by one. And then our, our last case is going to be else 
and uh, in this case it's when nums is equal to or sorry nums of mid is equal to 2 so for that we do nums of mid and nums of high and that's going to be equal to nums we're just swapping them right so nums high and nums mid uh, and in this case because you know we're pushing essentially the 2 over to the right where high is uh, and then we want everything to the right of high to be a 2 so we're de-incrementing high by 1 so it's going to be a minus equals 1 let's see submit and yeah there we go no mistakes uh, 98 percent not bad um, like I said earlier in the video I think this runs an O of n time complexity and uh, it's constant memory so yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>